Hello everyone, today I will demonstrate automatic recovery of Postgres cluster using QTB inside Kubernetes. So, uh, first let's take a look at our helm list. So, you can see that uh, we have installed uh, the QTB operator with helm. Uh, which actually have created three ports here. You can see that one is for QTB auto scholar, one is for QTB community, and another is for QTB enterprise. <laughs> so uh, now let's take a look at our YML that's we're going to deploy for Postgres clustering. So here is our actual, actual YML. Then you can see that the IPA version has QTB.com uh, beyond alpha 2. Then the kind here is postcase, then the metadata is demo PG, then the next is demo. And in our expect section, you can see that the version is 13.2, which is actually a postcase version. Then uh, we're going to like uh, create three node replica clustering. So that's why the replica count here is three. Then the extended mode has here is hot. Then this rest IP here is durable. Then we have pro provided uh, some storage spec here uh, with the resources. And the termination policy is actually wiped out. That's mean that when we're going to delete uh, 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 this Postgres instance, it's going to uh, delete all the resources that has been created with uh, this one, like the secrets, uh, the uh, PVC, the uh, persistent volume, all the resources. Okay. So uh, let's now deploy this one. So we can see that we have uh, successfully created uh, demo. Uh, PG for Postgres uh, CRD. So here you can see that uh, one by one the ports are actually uh, up and running. Like demo PG zero is now up and running. Demo PG one is now up and running. Demo PG two is now up and running. But still the status here is provisioning. That means that uh, actually the archive operator needs some uh, moments to configure uh, all the uh, like cluster cluster configuration. So it will take some time to be the status ready. So let's just wait for, for this just to be ready. Okay, it is still in provisioning instead. So now you can see that the status here is ready. So let's just get the services here. So if you just get the services from demo name space, then you can see that we have uh, three uh, services here. One is demo PG, which actually pointed towards our current uh, primary. And uh, one is demo PG ports, which actually are providing uh, pointing towards all the nodes uh, for this process cluster, like demo PG zero, demo PG one, and demo PG two. Then another one is actually demo PG standby, which actually are pointing towards the replica nodes that uh, that are uh, syncing with the current primary. So let's just uh, see the endpoints here. So you can see that we have uh, the endpoints here, and we, let's just uh, get the port also with IP addresses. Then from here, you can see that the uh, demo PG is pointing towards this port's IP. So our new uh, current primary is actually demo PG zero. If we just take a look at our demo PG zero YML uh, logs, then here you can see that the resistance rate connection connection. That means that this one is actually current primary. And if we check with other logs, other port logs, then you can see that uh, uh, this port is actually uh, streaming uh, all from the current primary, which is demo PG zero. Uh, now let's just eject into demo PG zero, then client to our post cluster, then write some data here, like create database. Mm, test. Then we have created a database called name test. Then if we just uh, uh, list this, to this database, then you can see that the database is actually existing in our database list. Let's just try to our test. So you can see that now we're connected to our test database. Let's uh, create a table for company. We're going to provide name. Not now, and the role of this employee. So here you can see that we have created a table. Let's just insert uh, some data into it.
uh, name and hello yes. and provide the name Imon and the roles of our engineer. Uh, let's just try in quotations. Okay. Okay, I have uh, actually put a wrong value here. We need to provide the role here. So here you can see that uh, we have uh, created, uh, inserted the data properly. Let's just uh, select all from table. From table company. Then you can see that we have uh, provided a row here. So now let's uh, take a look at our failover scenarios. So uh, maybe there could be another a failover like uh, when the primary is down or could be another failover where all the three ports are down. So let's first simulate the first uh, failover scenario where uh, the primary port is down. Let's uh, delete this one. Uh, let's just delete this port. Um, easy, zero. So, here you can see that I said as here is time meeting for this demo, which is zero port. And uh, uh, here you can see that the uh, status here is critical now. And the uh, demo PG actually point towards now a new primary, which is actually our demo PG one. So it has uh, the uh, primary switch over has been already happened here. And you can see that uh, this one is actually on current primary. So let's just check the log of this new primary. So here from this uh, new premise log, you can see that the database system is ready to accept connection. That means that uh, this support is actually ready to accept all sorts of connections. And uh, you can also see that uh, uh, this demo PG zero ports IP has been uh, enlisted in, in here in demo PG system by also. So that means that uh, this port has been also uh, come uh, restarted and joined the cluster uh, with the current new primary. So let's just check this one. So let's just check the demo PG zero log. So here you can see that it also is streaming data from the kind primary. So which is actually demo PG zero, sorry, demo PG one. So uh, let's now check if our, our data exists or not. So let's try uh, connect to our uh, Postgres cluster. Let's connect to our database, then select all from company. Uh, sorry. Then I can see that the data existing is still existing as a, so we can say that we haven't uh, have any data loss here. Uh, now let's uh, simulate the uh, second uh, failover scenario where every three ports is going uh, going to be down. So let's just delete all the three ports. So let's now terminate all three ports. Now you can see that all the fields, uh, three ports are now time intermediate in state and the status here is not ready. That means that the data is not ready to accept connections as we have already deleted all three ports. So no one is actually ready for the requesting the connection, uh, ready for accepting the connections. Okay, now let's just wait for the ports to be restarted and uh, join the cluster. So I can see that uh, the inputs are pointing towards none uh, for demo page and demo page standby. Now let's just wait for this test to be ready of this demo PG Postgres cluster. So it is still not registered us, but uh, demo PG 0 and demo PG 1 has been up and running. Demo PG 2 is also up and running. 
now you can see that uh, the status here is critical that means that the uh, sub postgres cluster is ready to accept connections but uh, one of the three ports is actually not uh, working uh, accepting connections or working uh, in, in the in the in the cluster okay so here you can see that the demo pg has some endpoints here then from this ip address you can see that uh, 40 this one is actually our client primary which is actually demo pg 0 so let's just check the log of demo pg 0 here if we take a clear look here then you can see that the device system is ready to accept connections that means that um, we are ready to go with uh, this uh, cluster to uh, client connect new clients and uh, and other ports are actually also joined the cluster as uh, the status here is ready. Let's just check the other ports log here. So here you can see that the other ports, demo pg1 is actually streaming wall from demo primary kind primary and also demo pg, let's check the log of demo pg2. Then from demo pg logs, uh, demo pg2 uh, log, we can also say that the, uh, it, it has been streaming from kind primary. Let's now take a look at uh, demo pg0's then connect to the uh, Swiss cluster. Then connect to our database, which is test. Now let's check if the data exists or not for the table company. Here you can see that the data is ex existing. Though we have all down, we have deleted all three ports. That means that all the, when whenever if uh, in for some moment uh, there are. Uh, like uh, I mean, the 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 three nodes is down or crashes. Uh, we don't need to worry about that at loss or something like that. So yeah, yeah. So we have successfully simulated the failover scenario two here. So that's all from my side. Thank you, everyone.